Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back once again in Final Fantasy Rebirth. We're currently trying to get some food to feed Pico, the Chocobo, so we can race and indeed get out of this uh, underground place we've been put into. We've just done most of the Golden Saucer, but we have indeed been kidnapped and brought down here. And we are struggling. Because, yeah, again, we have to do some Queen's Blood gameplay to get the food required. And I am not the biggest Only fan of Queen's Blood, as quality. anyone who's been following the series may know. Browse as long as you like. But we are trying to buy... We've actually bought them in the last episode. I thought we had um, more cards that we were able to buy. So essentially, to get the food or the greens that we need to feed Pico, we've got to beat the Queen's Blood players. Now, I'm a little bit upset about this. I'm not going to lie. Because really, I don't like the, the Queen's Blood card game at all. Anyone who's been following the series will know that. And it kind of forces you to play the game. Oh, so imagine I've been skipping out on the Queen's Blood for, well, for the entire series. And now oh. I find out that this is a core <laughs> part of the game oh, no. that I can't move forward Mary, from darling dear. without playing Queen's and Blood. So, either you We're going to challenge you to a match here. We're going to do our best to win these, but I'll be, I'll be straight up with you guys. I'm terrible at this game. Uh... Not the Final Fantasy, just the Queen's Blood element of it. But we're going to do what we can here to get a victory. And hopefully move forward with the series. Um, let's see what we can do here. But for anyone starting the game, or you've just re recently purchased it, Sadly, Queen's Blood is uh, a big part of the game and you won't really have much choice about it in the matter. So, like it or lump it, you're going to have to play it. But I will be covering the pros and cons to this game in my full review, which will be up on the channel once I complete uh, my initial playthrough of this game. Let's just have a look here. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's replace this card here so we beat bottom row. We've also bolstered that card into a six, which is great. We're now going to use a two card here. We should unlock these two and bolster our front line on bottom row. Should enable us to get a bit of a lead here. Uh, we're also going to stick this up here now. Top rows looking not the best, to be honest. Uh, but with the points we get off the bottom row, we should just be able to absolutely snowball this game. So far, he's up seven. Uh, oh, shit. That's not good. Um, see if we can bolster these and take some points away from him. Hopefully. We are running out of uh, slots we can play cards in, though. Um... The fact that he's took this square here is a bit of a bit of a pain, I'm not gonna lie. Um We can steal this one back though. Perhaps get a bit of a foothold back. No no no. Not looking great. So far though, he's on nine points, and I mean we're on what seventeen? Um I'm pretty sure we just straight up win here. We will have to see what he can pull out in the middle row. Oh, shit. 
That's bad. Um, oh my god. I think we lose here now. Uh, we still can't play a card here. This is not good. So he's one. We might have been able to replace a card there, actually, and pull it back. I'm not entirely sure, but we will play again. See how we do. So, not good. Like I said, not all fate with Queen's Blood. It's not my uh, favorite aspects of the game. We'll challenge her once again. See if we can indeed win this time. Hopefully we might get a bit of a better draw here. So we've got a better start card there, to be fair. Which is always nice to see. Um, got a nice card there for the middle row as well. So, um, we can play uh, this one here as well. Take that card slot. See if we get a, a one pawn for the top. Oh, that's not good. So we take this. We should be able to steal that slot back. Which has now took us into the lead on the bottom row as it's cancelled out his points. But yeah, again, he's took it back. Oh dear. This puts us on six for the bottom row. I mean, we can waste replacing that. I mean, we don't really have much choice. If we don't do this, we, don't, we, we lose bottom row. But now top row is getting infringed on big time. Not good. Just have to see how this plays out. It's not looking great, though. I won't lie. It's looking like our best card to play is here. We're still losing bottom row, though. Fully. Not really anything we can play. So I just think we straight up lose again. <laughs> oh my god. My days, I hate this game. There we go again. See how we do this time. Play. Um, let's have a look. Try this in the center, see how we do. It's 
So he has matched us pound for pound on that one. Pound for pound. Got a nice juicy four on the top row though. Um, we haven't really got a one card. Well, we have got this one. That's a pretty good play, actually. See how, see what he comes back with. Um, so we put a two, two pawn on the bottom here. Quite good, actually. We still got our Grand Horn replacement cards as well, which are going to come in useful. And we can place this one here, which is going to take back that square. So now we do have this one. It's a great card, actually. Um, and we could do a replacement on the middle row next turn. So he is trying to play out the top row here. Let's see what does this achieve. Um... Um, tough one because we lose a point on the top row there really I mean 6, 4, 8, 7, 6 but if we don't play so that we need to match this middle row I don't really have a choice here. The top row's in dire straits right now. But we could... We could replace this one going to take us into a 10 on the bottom row the top row is what I'm worried about though right now but we can't really do anything about that I'm just going to have to bolster what we can on two lines here and hope that he doesn't get enough on one row to indeed secure victory here So it's looking pretty good for us. Um, we don't have any replacement cards here. So I think that's uh, it's going to be about it. Unless we get a single card. Uh, which we have here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we got a 12 and a 10. And plus one on there. So it's our turn again. We don't have a one card here. So do we just win now? I think we do. We've got enough points here. 21 to 8. Very nice. Thanks for playing. And we got Deathclaw card here. Queen's Blood player defeated. I have a confession to make. So, we've got one last player to tech on here. I've kind of been cutting back on the booze. Do you want to know why? A while back, I drank way too much, blacked out in the middle of a match, and had an awful nightmare. I dreamed this creepy stranger was trying to chat me, which is why... I mean, what the hell is she going on about? <laughs> So here we go on to player three now. 
What did I ever do to them? What's up? Hopefully we can secure this and get the greens that are required for the chocobo feed. Yeah, again, we just got to play by air. I'm not the best Queen's Blood player. I am just literally winging it. No strats here at all. Um, but let me know in the comments below if any of you are adept at playing this game. So we've got a one card here. It's a great start. It's a great start card as it goes. Probably the most optimal start card that we could hope for. We are going to take... Um, another one card here. Sadly, it's only to the power one, but it's about all we could get down currently uh, this is a very very good card actually even though it's only a power one we've got our replacement cards to play here try and counter a row as well uh, we got this one which is a fantastic card again for the center row And we also do have a replacement card here. So we, we could just focus on two rows again here, actually. Uh, just try and bring home the bacon. In two rows. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Hopefully we might get another replacement card here. Doesn't look like we will in that hand. But it is luck of the draw, like I said. I mean, we just got smashed there. Might next game I might smash them. I mean, I just don't really feel it's a very tactical game. And this is kind of why I dislike it. But I could be wrong. It could have an underground community of people that really, really adore this part of the game. I know card games have been quite popular in the past in uh, in Final Fantasy. So maybe we'll focus on two rows here. I think that's the secret to Queen's Blood. Possibly just focusing it up. On two rows. We might have to pass here. See what he plays. We didn't really have um, a great card here to play. We are going to go for the two row strategy though, I think. And just hopefully play it out like that. Um, we don't really want to be wasting those cards just yet. But the problem is he might take over the squares. Is that game over? See, I don't even understand what's happened there. Is that because I passed twice? I'm not like, I'm not even entirely sure. Uh, did the game think that I didn't have a card to play? I mean, I don't, I don't actually know what's happened there. Perhaps if you pass your turn twice, it just assumes that you can't play or something. I don't, I'm not entirely sure what actually happened there. Um, so this is quite a good card to be playing mid here, actually.
Now let's not forget we do have these replacement cards that can uh, possibly show victory on the mid. We don't have too many one pawn cards though. This is the problem that I'm finding. Um, we've still got a two slot there, providing he doesn't take it. And he has. And he indeed has. We're going to claim that back now though. Bolster the mid. Perhaps play the two slot here. Is this the best up? So we are trying for a two row victory here. So we got a three pawn on the top side here. So this indeed could be advantageous. Bottom row's tied up. Uh, not good, really. But I think we win because we've got 11 on the mid row. The other two are tied. So they cancel each other out, I think. Oh, I bet he wins now, though. So that's six versus 11. We win. He's only the highlighted. He's only the highlighted rows that you get the points for. Oh, great. So there we go. So they cancel each other out. We do get a victory there on the top row. We get a new card. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we don't mind Queen's Blood as extend, like extended content. That we can indeed sort of play our own leisure as we progress further on in the later stages of the game. But having it shoehorned in and kind of forced to play it is a little bit frustrating I ain't gonna lie but here we should be able to go and get our prize here and get the feed for Pico oh, what's going on here Welcome to my swindling seminar you sir have excellent timing swindling seminar. seminar and would appreciate your help and, as thanks for your assistance, rest assured you will be handsomely rewarded. All you need to do is speak with my lovely pupils here. Four of these folks are lying while one and only one is telling the truth. Your job is to find the odd one out. Ah, there's also a small fee to participate, but I'm sure you won't mind. Okay. Each guest will cost you 500 gil, so choose wisely. By visiting notable locations around Dust Bowl, review any notes at the time, and press L1 to take a closer look. So... Do we... So do we just speak to them or? So let's just have a look here. So are we at that part? It's kind of hard to tell. If you're looking for a place to get loaded, then look no further than Bail Jumper. It's the only bar that serves Cosmo. You've been to the weapon shop? It's ridiculously loud in there. I like it though. Helps me relax. Plus they sell potions there. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography, Meditations on the Outlaw Life. But the bookstore still- You checked out the graffiti at Gus's place? He's got a Del Sol Cactuar in there. See if you can find it. If you visit the Beast Battleground, you might just run into a rare monster named Test Zero. 
Interesting. I mean, we could just have a, have a guess at it. Do you think you can... I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography, Meditations on the Outlaw Life. But the bookstore... You checked out the graffiti at Gus's place? He's... If you visit the Beast Battleground, you might just run it. You've been to the weapon shop? If you're looking for a place to get loaded, then look no... You've been to the weapon shop? It's ridiculously loud in there. I like it, though. Helps me relax. Plus, they sell potions there, too. You've been to the weapon shop? <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> I don't know why I guessed that. It just seemed... I'm afraid you've... My pupils have a knack. Discerning the truth is a skill, just like telling a lie. Well, do you think you a can... A different swindler is now telling the truth. Hmm? So they're all, they, they've switched up the lies, though. Well, do I don't have enough gill. Oh, my God. Are you joking? The truth oh, is well. out there, as they say. I encourage you to walk around town and find... So we should be, maybe should have investigated a little bit there before doing that. We kind of screwed ourselves a little bit. So Magenta Books, he did mention uh, something about Magenta Books. So we should investigate that. I mean, what is there? Battle Beast Battleground. Interesting. In the ring, it's mad for Welcome to be So you looking to feed a few fiends and there could be some fresh new greens in it. Alright, so we could get some greens off doing this as well. Okay. Feel the nightmares. Let's go. Oh well this is gonna go. Some of these challenges have been ridiculous. Other ones have been quite easy. Uh, we'll just have to play it by ear here. Let's go, baby. So let's assess this. It's weak to frost. Holy shit. Prime mode. Shit, we don't actually have uh Let's try that again. It's actually quite difficult. Here we got it. Let's finish this. Alright, here we go. So let's try out the prime mode. You had your chance. Get ready. You're done. Time to get serious. Let's finish this. Let's do this. Nice. Weapon ability. Mastered. Mastered the prime mode. Just like that, okay? Exquisite beast hides times five. Should come in handy for our crafting. We'll try chapter two here, see how we get on. I mean, the main thing is we beat the Queen's Blood players. I mean, I was really not looking forward to that, I won't lie. Try the prime mode again. You ready? Shit. Let go. Come on, go. Shit. I'm 
not looking good. Uh, still here. Still in it. Getting prime mode here if we can. Damn it. In a bit of trouble. Uh, let's do Cura. You're nice. Done. That primal is pretty disgusting, actually. So let's. Uh, Come on. Let's have a look. Let's do prime mode again. Here I come. Pretty good actually. So we dodge the abilities and then go into the go into the prime mode. Does quite a lot of damage. It's not bad. We are taking a hell of a lot of uh, poison damage though. Should be able to get staggered here. Get a nice big heal off. Cura. And then we'll do uh, Braver. Big damage. Let's go. That's two down. Nothing to it. Bow, 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 bow. Nice victory theme remix as well. So let's see if we can do the third one here. Uh, unknown error. So we do get some greens here, actually. It's looking like we are going to have to complete this. We may have to do all the quests in this area to get enough greens to ensure. that we do have enough to feed Pico. So we are going to assess it, see what it's weak to. So it's weak to fire, which is fair enough. Which means fireball blade should be quite effective. So the true one was say, telling that there's a test zero in the arena. So he was the one telling the truth. So we actually know that now. So let's do fire. Oh, we did it. Holy shit, man. Uh... So the only one we really have is Fireball Blade. We can try the Prime Disorder as well. I did a lot of damage. Uh, we're gonna heal up. Oh no, maybe we're not. Gotta be careful. Did he just steal the heal off me? The hell? It literally stole the heal off us. I can't believe we're actually still alive. Yeah. 
Maybe we could try punishing him all out here. No. We have got a limit break coming up as well. If we've got Ifrit, that would be a great help indeed. So let's just see if we get our Ifrit summon it. Oh shit, 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 shit. Alright, we need to pick up the, the orbs that are knocking about. So when the mobs come along, they are actually healing it up. Let's try that again. So let's see what some of them we've got here. Oh, Moogle Tree, oh, are you joking me? I suppose every little bit helps. Get him. <laughs> Good ball. We actually just missed most of that. Let's try the. Oh, actually, let's have a look. Do they have any fire? Definitely a difficult adversary to sack on. Go oh my god, it's healing up. See if this does any damage. Good job. So let's just see if we can do Prime Mode here again. You had your chance. Wow, what a pain in the ass this thing is. So we do take the damage when we pick up the spells, but it's so much better than him getting them. Guess we got it staggered again. So this is possibly where we should have been using... Um, Oh my god, big damage. Big damage. Let's see if we can hit it with a braver and end it. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. All done. So we did get some greens there. Fantastic. Exactly what we needed. Look at you go. Be sure to check out some of our other contests too, if you're in the market for a little danger. All right, new combat challenges Welcome are available. So we can push through these. Actually, it's going to be worth it. See if we can get some gill as well to do the challenge. So we know that there is a thingy zero here now. Oh shit. So let's do the assess. See what see what the weak to. Knowing my luck, it's gonna be fire, yeah. Try the fireball blood. Really, though, uh, we could have done with equipping a fire material here prior to the match. I think that would have helped out a hell of a lot, actually. We 
might get him stuck in here though. Be careful. Well, let's do um, Fireball Blade. And we can also do Disorder. Whoa, what a pain in the backside. It's staggering me every time I go in. Maybe we need to attempt getting them both staggered at the same time. Let's have a go. Let's get a summon going. Do your thing. Do your thing. I could have sworn put Ifrit on Cloud. Here we go. So we're gonna do. Let's finish this. Frost slash. Um, get this one finished off here. Jesus, got me stun locked. Good One down anyway. Nice. So let's do the disorder uh, prime mode again, sorry. Just absolutely massive damage that though, doesn't it? This ends here. Nice, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Another one, Basadesta. No time to celebrate. No time to celebrate. So we've got some noble thieves. Gloves, Tifa will appreciate those. Bodiful, bodiful. Don't know who will be able to do this. I don't know if we're high enough level. Certainly give it a bash though. Alright, let's have a look at what spells we've got. Taking a lot of damage here. Um, this one's not quite as easy as I imagined it might be. Let's see if we can pressure this here. Kind of got the fireball, I think. He's the one that's nearly. You're done. Gotcha. Big damage. Let's do this. No more. Uh, we got the stagger. Um, uh, right, limit break here. Focus on one at a time, really. If we can. Nice. And we're gonna do prime mode. Bomb. You had your chance. Yeah. Ah! 
Alright, he's back up now. I'm gonna heal up again. Probably do two Kiaras. Oh, we might get away with just one actually. It's kind of a shame we didn't finish him off when he was staggered before. We have got a summon ready, but these Moogles are just crap, aren't they? Have fun. Keep up, keep Now we got it staggered. Um So we definitely picked the right choice of effectively dealing with the bomb. And the AOE splashed over to the chicken and killed it, which is great. Way of the Fist, Volume 3. Let's go. Uh, Prison Tony, Proof of Life, Solo Bout, Pick Your Fighter, Defeat the Misgotten Enemies. Uh, Beast Killer Badge. See how this one goes. I mean, we did the last one, so maybe we can get this one. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my god. It's going to be impossible, I'm telling you now. Let's do um do prime mode. You ready? Oh dear. Nice to meet you. nice to meet you. Oh no, it's getting healed. <laughs> the biggest issue we're gonna have is one of them knocking me down. The other one's doing damage, but we can kind of separate them a little bit. Let's try Braver. See if we can get a big, big hit off. No. Looking like it. Completely been null and voided. We'll have to see if we can heal up. They might knock us out of this, though. Alright, we got it off. No, oh, we need to stop getting grabbed. Keep sailing them up. So difficult. Let's try that again. As soon as you let them pick up their mobs, it's GG. So much for being a yeah. Well, no such joy on that one. Sadly, um, 
We'll try one more time. We may have to come back when we're a little bit higher level. Or with a bit of a better setup, perhaps. We will assess again just to see if there's any tips or tricks we can get. Right, when HP is low, it will play dead. One of these state attacking it along with blocking and evading its subsequent crowd strikes will pressure it. Is that is that all they can tell me? Um Okay. And it's just knocked me out of the five volt blade again. It just seems impossible. Like, holy shit. I'm dead anyway. Yep. Never again. Oh, you Definitely a little bit too difficult at the moment. Uh, probably come back when we've got a little bit more level and stuff. Bit of a shame, but nonetheless, it is what it is. Level 34 is a little bit out of our reach. So do we have any gil? Uh, that's the question. We'll check in a moment. Two hundred and fifty seven. Mm. Probably need to sell something. Um, is there a shop around here? Yeah, there's one there. Hey, right, come on. I ain't picky. We'll go over to this store, sell a few bits, and go back and guess which one is lying. Which one's telling the truth, sorry. Don't even think about it. We know now it's probably the Project Zero guy. How do we get over to the store, actually? So we need to find the star, which I think is over here. That's the photograph guy. We've got the card guy over there, which we need to speak to because obviously we beat be his champion and there's the man of the thanks to your effort. demand for queen which means my prop you did me a great favor take this as a token of my thanks thank you very much before you go though you won't want to miss out so we can sell some stuff here um x portion don't really want to sell them but the gill will come in useful, sadly. And we don't really want to be selling other stuff off. Uh, People okay. lose interest when they start. By the way, don't breathe a word about this to the folks upstairs. People around the prison have been telling me they give their birds sandbags. So we can now feed Pico the greens. But we also want to go over to the liar. The, light, the deceptful, I don't know what you call them. Uh, let's just make a mark on here. Swindle a seminar, that's where we want to go. So it's this way. We go up here. We'll 
we've definitely got some uh, info now. So when he asks if it's zeros at the arena, uh, that's the one. Yeah. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography. Gus's crib is covered in. Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? I hear that Type Zero monsters are real. <laughs> what? You've been hoodwinked once again. Better luck next time, friend. Well, do you think you can? You gotta check out Garf's auto. It's kind of weird, but Gus has a picture of Stamp on his wall. You should test your might in the Beast Battleground. They've got a rare monster named Bug Zero. Hey, did you see? You gotta check out. You've been to the weapon shop? It's ridiculously loud. Bug in there. Zero. It did have a thing called Bug Zero, all right? Might in the beast what is that called Bug Zero? It's kind of weird, but Gus has a picture of. You gotta check out Garf's autobiography, Meditations on the Underling Life. It's at the local bookstore. You've been to the weapon shop? It's ridiculously loud in there. If you're looking for a place to get loaded, you've been to the weapon shop? It's ridiculous. Hey, did you see this stamp? You should test your mind. It's kind of weird, but Gus has a picture. Let's go. Congratulations. Gus is a lot of bloody gill, though. Swindler, but so yes, yes, sir. sir. As for you, rest assured that I am a man of my word. Those greens are nice. hard to find in a place like this. Quite the handsome reward. So we got plenty say? of greens here for our uh, chocobo. To ensure that we will indeed do well in the tracks and the race. We got three times, which is quite a lot. I think you could go back with just one and feed him and do the rest, but obviously I don't think he's going to perform to the best of his abilities. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. We don't want to be going down here. Uh, go back through here. And Pico down here. Desert Roar. Why well, can't I remember where it is? So confusing sometimes. I'm not going to lie. We've gone right away from it. So he's over here on the right. Oh, we walked straight past it. Oh my god. Let's feed up our little chokey bow. Wrestled up some quality stuff. Feed Pico. Here you go, kid. It's a start. Nice. Yeah, he's looking a lot better now. Might as well give him the lot. Get him hyped up for the race. And there we go. Pico is now restored to his former self. Oh, Pico's right as rain and fit to hit the track whenever you are. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. <laughs> oh, before you go, if you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've now got Pico ready for the race. We're all set and we're all ready to go. So make sure you tune in next episode to watch the race and see me race in the Chocobo race. Yeah.
<laughs> uh, kind of knew what I wanted to say there, but it just came out wrong. Anyway, over 96% of my viewership are not currently subscribed. So if you have enjoyed today's episode, comment, like, subscribe, and ring that post notification bell to make sure you never miss out on a future video. And yeah, thanks for watching.